you, you've been talking about social media. You, yours, you've got like something like 70,000 plus followers on your IG, right? I mean, it's uh, quite an awesome number. And um, what's what, what was your strategy for that? I mean, how did you get your numbers so high? People love to drink? Uh, no, I think, first of all, um, SEO is the one that drives uh, uh, followers. Um, be relevant with your posting. Be focused in your posting. Um, don't don't put so much things in your posting. You know, um, convey one idea, one purpose, and bang on it, and have subsequent postings that comes with it. I think that's very important. And keep posting, and don't post for the sake of posting. And people get bored. No, you should post up uh, little messages and little stories, and and keep people excited. And I have people texting me and say, um, when is your next posting coming on? You know, what what's next? You know, what's next? I have strangers in in Japan. This week, um, five of them are my strangers, which I've never met them before, but they want to see me because they were they were in my Instagram. So you see strangers, you know, they, they want to talk to you. They want to share with you. They want to collaborate with you, even in Japan. So it, it's exciting to see such things, you know. Yeah, But you got to be focused. You got And you got to be real. You got to be real in your, you know, Instagram. You don't like, um, you know, put fake pictures, you know, whatever. You really need to be real in social media. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, uh, what Joshua said, being real, I think is a really useful and important uh, thing to do. And especially when uh, now it is so easy not to be real because, uh, for example, Gimify itself, uh, you know, we we help marketers punch above their weight by helping them create content for exactly the use cases that Joshua spoke about. Uh, Gimify creates amazing short form content, long form content, visuals, ideas, to help marketers, uh, small and 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 large, punch above their weight and get their marketing goals done. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's a it's it's maybe a, a a very interesting thing to say. But we need to learn how to use AI so that we can be even more real, and we can express our ideas and thoughts and uh, and you know what we want to share in a manner which is human and real. Uh, but yet be able to drive our efficiency and our productivity and our creativity by using uh, tools and platforms like gimify.ai. And that is what I've what I've learned as well, where uh, AI cannot do 100% of the work, but it can help to save 70, 80, 90% of the time that we put in into a variety of marketing tasks. I agree with Shalu. Uh, not, not well. Social media, of course, to to promote uh, the experiences that we've created and all that. But uh, in, in line with what Shalu said about uh, AI, for example, we found that uh, I mean, in, in spite of the dangers of uh, AI, that AI poses uh, in creating, uh, you know, fake uh, fake news or, or fake images and video and all that, I think uh, everyone should learn how to take advantage of it for uh, for and use it for good because there are a lot of time and cost savings that can you can benefit from using AI uh properly so so we we've, we've used it in in ideation for example like if if we want to create a, an uh an avatar of someone for example we would type in prompts and and we would generate a look and feel of a particular avatar that we can then uh get our our designer to to then uh, create and customize so a lot of things environment uh, in the, the virtual environments uh you can get the initial uh creation done using uh ai tools so definitely, uh, I, I'm I'm a strong uh, proponent of using AI, but use it use it wisely, use it uh, use it for good rather than than all the negative things that you can use with it. Yeah. <laughs>